when we make our salah it's for you, for ourselves. But when we're gathering for the love and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad every gift is accepted in Divinely Presence and accepted by Khuluqul Azim, the best of creation, the best of character that Allah has created. These gifts of love to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is the reality of the hadith you be with whom you love. And why Sahabi were whirling out of excitement because it's not based on my salah. My salah didn't guarantee I'm going to be with Allah because I'm praying or that I'm fasting I'm going to be with Allah or I'm going to give my zakah and I'm going to be with Allah But Prophet ﷺ's promise you be with whom you love. These are gatherings of muhabbat and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad As soon as we're reciting those whom we love we are with them. And they are with us. That brings the immensity of the barakah that people can't understand. Thousand years you pray, you don't know who's going to be with you just because of your salah. But in one mafil, in one mila, in one sitting of doing durud al sharif and salawats, if we're doing it and that light begins to dress and that love is, is moving from the heart to their presence, no doubt. Prophet is accepting that love. Not only your soul will be in their presence reciting but their soul will be in this presence for barakah and blessing. To give everything we do a blessing, to give your entire wujud, your entire being to be blessed by their nazar and by their presence. Not only they want to dress your soul for your akhirah reality that you be raised and people astonish, where you got this light from? We saw you as somebody regular in dunya, it's not going to be known what type of light this praising when Allah send your soul into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad We don't have an even understanding of the greatness of that station of Prophet uh -huh. What he is going to be dressing the soul that will astonish all of creation on the Yawmul Mashar on the Judgment Day. But not leaving it for that, he also wants to bless the physicality. So with this love they will be with us, they come to be present in the associations, in the homes, wherever people are reciting. They come and bring their tabarak and their blessings and everything is touched by that light, everything is blessed by that light. If we really understood we would have never left these associations of mawlid and zikr and everything that is a praising on Divinely Presence. We pray that Allah in… we are witnessing now the Mahdiyun days in which Allah with a small dish you see the whole thing crumbling, Humpty Dumpty fell off a wall and Humpty Dumpty… what's the… how does it go? Is that on a wall? and had a great fall and nobody can pick up the pieces. You see everything is shattering, running people running for toilet paper <laughs> What? Somebody go outside every Costco with Estin J and say, hey man, use water. Allah going to bring them towards Islam and we're seeing, witnessing how the little pieces are all falling. Empires that thought nothing can move them, we achieve the highest, they think, the highest of realities. No actually you went down into the level of baboon because the civilizations before us were much more smarter. They had technologies that are unimaginable and they left their symbols upon this earth. We pray that Allah increase us in Islam, Iman, Wal Maqam, Wal Ihsan, increase us in these lights and in these blessings and to sit in the circles of paradise to be safe from difficulty that coming, mm -hmm. to eat from the circles of paradise, mm -hmm. to be dressed and blessed from the circles of paradise. Not only you have to be in the presence of the shaykh but the shaykh can be in your presence by watching live. As soon as you turn your system on live, their zikr, their association, the lights that Allah dressing that association begin to enter into the home and into the living room and cast out every type of difficulty, every type of badness and their association becomes live in that association and in that room. 
Because love is not uh, separated by time and distance. Time and distance can't separate any of that. For the beginning was our soul is beyond this understanding of universes in the presence of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Only muhabbat and love can take us faster than the speed of thought. So the boundary and distance is of no value and no concern to Allah He merely wants it, kun fayakun, it happens. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.